today we have RW with us, and uh, RW uh, luckily uh, consented to me making a quick video. But I was particularly interested in videoing him because uh, he's been out now for about two years after a spinal cord stimulator and peripheral nerve stimulator implant. And um, I wanted him to share his, his thoughts and feelings over the past couple of years. He came back in because he needed an adjustment as stimulator. And as I explained to him, it's not uncommon uh, to need adjustment as scar tissue forms and there's uh, increased impedance to the, uh, the electrical signal. Uh, we have to turn it up on occasion. But nevertheless, um, uh, this gentleman's a couple years out now from his implant and I uh, just wanted to see how he's doing and explain his, his situation. Uh, RW, how, how have you done over the past two years with your stimulator? I think it's exactly uh, as it was two years ago. And, and how was it two years ago? When before I had it put in, I was facing surgery, as you know. And yes. It was, uh, some complicated surgery. Indeed. And we tried this as an alternative, and it worked out very successful. Now, your pain prior to the implant, zero to ten, it's hard to think back that long, and I don't have your documents right in front of me, but what would you imagine it was kind of on a daily average? I mean, zero to ten. I think back then, and my memory serves me correct, it was around eight or nine. Okay. And what is it on average uh, days you're using the stimulator now? Four or five. Okay. So Sometimes three. better, but four or five. What, has it helped you uh, do anything uh, more effectively, or, uh, or, is it, or is it able to do anything, uh, drive or walk or oh, stand, yeah. sit? Yeah, no question. Uh, before we... Uh, Put this into the spinal system. I could not walk in the mall more than two or three minutes. Now I can walk for hours out, maybe two hours. Wow. Now recently, you you made an appointment to come in and see us because things had changed, and it's not uncommon. Mm -hmm. How had they changed? I thought it was a component failure. I thought it was a the battery charger wasn't charging it right, so yes. the system wasn't recognizing the programs. Yes. And you see that right away. Mm -hmm. No big deal because the solutions for it, whatever they are. Uh, Connie reprogrammed the system and the charger is okay. I'm good to go. Good. And now you feel it. Oh, yeah. We've yeah. Actually, we programmed it and you could feel it. Terrific. Well, um, any other thoughts for other patients who are thinking about stimulators? I think uh, in my case, and maybe others too, it beats the danger and the unknown out of surgery. I agree with you. And, yes. it's, and it's my age. I'm 75. That's right. And I was about 73 when we did this. Yes. Uh, I had not been for this, we had gone through surgery. I appreciate your willingness to chat with us, and uh, I'm glad you're doing so well. I'm glad too. <laughs> Thank you. you may